It varies from Ooh, baby, I want some of that to Ooh, beautiful as she walks by. Did you know that according to the latest studies, 80 to 100 percent of women worldwide face unwanted harassment in public spaces for men they don't know just because they are females? Well, it's sure quite comical to think that men have nothing else better to do than expressing themselves uh, to, toward women. But in fact, it is a tragic and a disturbing way to communicate to females. How do you think a woman would feel about this inappropriate behavior? The street harassment has, all, always, um, has always worked. Not all the women get upset about that. No, one in four women likes it actually to be harassed since it gets her the feeling that at least someone likes her or at least someone finds her attractive. But if it happens all the time and everywhere, it becomes disgusting and disturbing since some women have to change their behavior to avoid being um, harassed. For example, they take the car to go to a work and which is two or three blocks away from their homes or they have to take company every time they want to go out for a walk. Well, street harassment is a real problem that requires legal regulation. The question is, are there laws that protect female pedestrians from the street harassment? Do you remember when it was legal for a man to make remarks about women? Well, I don't. It became illegal under many laws years before I was born. But still, 99% of men and harassers get away with it, and it amuses them. In every country there are laws. In every country there are laws that protect female pedestrians from street harassment. I personally asked a police officer about how would his reaction be if some woman come and complains about someone that harassed her on the street. He told me, I would just tell her not to pay attention and leave. Since I asked him about if there were laws that protect female pedestrians from the street harassment, he told me, yes, of course there are. But if I apply the law on every single case, me and myself will be in prison. To expand, I once went for a walk with an American friend and someone harassed her. I told her not to pay attention, but the harasser grabbed her ass. And when we went to the police station to complain about that, the police officer blamed my friend by saying, look how you are dressed. How do you think a tourist will feel or think about a country where the law exists and it's not applied? But in fact, the victim is blamed for what happened. In the other hand, let's be fair. Why do men harass women in the street? If you ask the harasser, he will tell you. If I don't harass on the street, how else can I get into a relationship or even get married? The fact that there are no clubs, no mixed parties, and no places where to meet a girl, I have to harass if I don't want to stay single my whole life. And if there are clubs, they're too expensive. So why pay a fortune to get one or two girls a night if I can't get a lot of girls by harassing them on the street? Sometimes the woman makes the man harass her. Since if she walks, if she walks in a different way when she sees a group of men. To sum up, what could we do to stop street harassment? If the woman shows that she is not afraid of eye contact and if she keeps her voice cool and collected and say simple phrases such as please don't don't scrap my ass or show me some respect or get lost. It's get lost, it's not cool what you're doing. Because aggressive response leads to, to fights. Men can also help reducing street harassment by uh, saying something when they see another man harassing another and a woman in the street. Well, men harass for fun, but sometimes it can get dangerous since it happens while we are driving our bike or walking down the street or using the public transportation. Harassment uh, escalates to violence. 
Street harassment should not be considered as a normal interaction between men and women. In fact, it is an unacceptable, unacceptable behavior and should always be seen as such.